In this video, we are going to discuss about the key concepts of information security management. So what are the key concepts? The concepts are confidentiality, integrity, availability, non-repudiation, information security policy, security analysis and controls. So what is confidentiality? Confidentiality is information is accessible only to those who are authorized to view it. That means if a person in a hierarchical way, he is from the level 1 category. Assume he is from the level 1 category. So he will be having some accesses only that is only read accesses. So the level 2 people will be having read plus somewhat write accesses on some documents or some drives. The same way the manager will be having read and write accesses. So based on that the confidentiality of the information is protected and the data is safe. Coming to integrity, information especially when being communicated it is protected against unauthorized modifications. That means when you are sending an email, assume you are sending an email from your project or your company's email id to the customer. So it should be protected because in the data transfer there might be hack hackers or any other person who can view it. So it should be pin protected or password protected. So coming to availability, the information is invulnerable to attacks or is to be recovered in a secured way. That is it should be available when it should be. That means only the authorized people should be accessing it as well as it should be the availability of the data should be there so that the data should not be missed. Non-repudiation, sender of information cannot deny that information has not been sent by him. So that means that it should be authorized as well as it should be available and also it should be confirmed it got from the correct domain or it got from the correct person. So coming to the information security policy. So information security policy, uh, an organization which ensures the compliance of information security objectives and guidelines. That means based on the objectives and guidelines, the organization develops a policy and uses it to their organization or a project by following this information security policy. Coming to the security analysis and controls to analyze the threats to organization's data and to eliminate the same. So that means to protect the data as well as information so based on the security plans. To provide security controls at various levels so that to reduce the impact of security breaches. So for security breaches also we have some checkpoints so that by these checkpoints we can eliminate those breaches and provide security. In the next videos we will be discussing about the metrics roles and responsibilities in information security management.